So today I just really wanted to talk about something which is the power of a morning prayer and what it means to start your mornings off talking to Jesus. I feel when you start your mornings with God, it gives you a peace of mind and in your heart to carry on with whatever you want to go on doing the rest of the day. So today to explain what it means to start your mornings off with Jesus, I want to look at a few different Bible verses that explain what it means to talk to him, why we should talk to him, and just everything like that. So the first verse I want to take a look at is actually in John 14. The verse is John 14, 27. And here he says, I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. And this section, it's out of the New Living Translation. So the reason I wanted to look at this was to let everyone know that, like the word tells you right here, the peace that he gives that comes from God and comes from Jesus is something that the world can't give you. So when you go about your day and you're trying to clear your head and get rid of all that clutter and you're trying to do it with worldly things like just your phone or just all these things, it's not going to give you that peace. So if you start your mornings off by dissecting right into the word and talking to God and praying to him, then you'll get that peace and stillness in your heart that you need to go about your day. So that to me was one of the first Bible verses that just explains really why we should talk to God. So I just wanted to show you guys um, something that I like to do in my Bible. In this section in John 14, I just wanted to give you a look of what it might look like. So this is how my Bible looks and I take notes. Um, I might do another video about, you know, color coding and what everything means, but basically, um, when I got to this page, that verse, John 14, 27, was something that I really liked, so right up here at the top, you can see it says, the peace I give is a gift that the world cannot give, and that's written right across the top. So I do that, and I put all these different colors and make it real big, just to remind me when I open this page, you know, what verse I love the most, and why it really set with me and every time I open this page it just gives me another chance to reflect on it. So just wanted to show you what that might look like. So the next verse I want to take a look at is Philippians 4 6 and Philippians 4 6 if you're reading the New Living Translation says don't worry about anything instead pray about everything tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. I think this really shows why we should pray to God in the morning. The reason is a lot of people I feel don't want to give their worries to God. They feel like it's too much for God to handle or maybe he's just not going to know how to help and it's pointless and you feel like you can handle it yourself. But the truth is that God is here for you and he wants to help you and he wants you to give your worries up to him and that he didn't create you to carry around all the burdens and emotions that you carry around every day. So when he says here, don't worry about anything, instead pray about everything, that comes straight from the Word. The Word's telling you not to worry about anything, but to just pray and give it to God. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. So here God's saying, through the text, He's saying, just give it up to Him. Tell Him what you need and just remember to be thankful and grateful for Him and for everything that He's doing for you. One of the reasons that I really love this verse is because after Philippians 4, 6, the next verse in verse 7, it says, then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. The reason I love this so much is when I first started studying verses, I found Philippians 4, 6, and I said, you know, don't worry about anything, pray about everything, and I didn't really think much further, and I forgot about what comes next, which really is the part that makes Philippians 4, 6 so great. And he says, then you experience God's peace. Don't worry about anything. Pray about everything, and then you will experience God's peace. And then it goes on to say, it exceeds anything we can understand, and it will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. So here the Bible is telling you that if you just pray about everything, then you'll experience his peace, which though we may not understand, it guards your hearts and minds. And that's a reason why I really feel like praying is something we should do in the morning because when you pray, you just receive all this peace that can really only come from God and not the rest of the world. This is kind of just what this page looks like. I haven't really gotten into this section yet, but that was where we were at in Philippians. 
So the next verse I want to take a look at is Psalm 5, 1 through 3. And it's really just really small. It's a Psalm of David. But when I found it, it really spoke volumes to me. So I'm just going to read it. O oh Lord, hear me as I pray. Pay attention to my groaning. Listen to my cry for help, my King and my God. For I pray to no one but you. Listen to my voice in the morning, Lord. Each morning I bring my request to you and wait expectantly. So the reason I really, really love this verse is because here is David saying, each morning I bring my request to you and wait expectantly. You know, and a lot of people sometimes, they don't sit well with that because they feel like, well, I can't expect God to do everything for me. But the Bible, the word is telling you right here, each morning I'm bringing my request to him and then I wait expectantly because his promises are to be fulfilled. 5-2 in the second half, it says, for I pray to no one but you. So again, it's like in Philippians 4, 6, when you say, tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. This is just another reminder to God of your obedience to him and that we're only praying to him and not to anyone else. And that when we come to him, that he is the one that we're looking for, for all our answers and for our guidance. Not only are we telling God that we're waiting expectantly when we pray, but that we're praying to no one else and only him. The next passage I wanted to share with you um, comes from Mark 11. It begins, then Jesus said to the disciples, have faith in God. I tell you the truth. You can say to this mountain, may you be lifted up and thrown into the sea and it will happen. But you must really believe it will happen and have no doubt in your heart. I tell you, you can pray for anything. And if you believe that you've received it, it will be yours. I love this verse because Jesus is telling you to have faith in God and that you should truly believe that your God can move mountains. And I just think that's a beautiful way to start. I really, really love Mark 11, 24. And again, it says, I tell you, you can pray for anything. And if you believe that you have received it, it will be yours. So here it's just saying that if you really believe what you're praying for and you give it up to God and you tell him what you want and what you need, as long as you believe full heartedly in him and in what you're praying for, then God's gonna give it and just do it all for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it was really insightful for you for what it means to start your mornings off praying to Jesus and talking to God. I hope you see that he wants to help you and if you just pray to him in the mornings that he's gonna give you a peace to start your day that you can't get from anywhere else. And I hope you realize that all he wants is for you to come to him as a father and to come to him as our Lord and just talk to him. And if you believe in what you're praying for that he's gonna give it to you, then you're gonna receive it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Thank you for spending this beautiful morning with me and just enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. <laughs>